the quarantine, first of all, when it started, I was like, yo, like it kind of caught me off guard because I had been going nonstop, like traveling and all the rest of that stuff all around the country for maybe about two and a half, three years where I would only be home for maybe like about a week, maybe two weeks at the most. And then from there, I'm, I'm right back at it. So when the quarantine did happen, it was a welcome break. But then at the same time, it was like I was bored out of my mind because it's like I'm going full 100 miles an hour, nonstop going hard. And then from there, I'm coming to a full stop. So it gave me an opportunity to just kind of look around and just assess my situation and just kind of trim the fat, figure out what I was doing just to spin my wheels versus what I was doing that was actually helping me to not only progress as a person, but as an artist. And it also gave me an opportunity just to uh, better my relationships, especially with my family life and all the rest of that, to better my mental. So that was something that I was really focused on during this quarantine. It was like my my physical, uh, my mental, and my spiritual. And I feel like I've really gotten that in order because ever since like last March, like I've been working out like four days a week and I put on um, 30 pounds of muscle, which is just crazy. And I, and I probably don't look that much bigger, man, but I'm telling you, like, I was a skinny dude, and now I'm, like, fit skinny. Like, you feel me? <laughs> so, so I'm happy about that, stretching, doing yoga, stuff like that. So that's, like, really what I was focused on was building out my mental and my physical because I know, like, at the end of the day, if I'm not right in the head and I'm not right in, in the mind and the body, like, I can't produce what I want to produce in the way that I want to. And then, I, like, for as far as the music thing, like, it gave our my team and I an opportunity to be more creative. So initially, you know, when you promoting, whether it be a new single or an album, EP, whatever, like, you hitting the streets. Like, you feel me? Like, not necessarily with a street team, but, I mean, like, you moving around. You're trying to do as many shows as you can. You're trying to do as many physical interviews as you can and all that to get the word out. But it gave us an opportunity to just be more creative from home and to figure out what type of technology we did need in order to do like these lives or or these podcasts and and all the rest of that so that was like a growing and learning experience for me because i've dabbled in it here and there but not as much as i would have liked to but because of the quarantine i slowed down and it gave me an opportunity to just kind of play around with that a little more so there's been some ups and downs. I feel like there's been more positives than negatives. But then again, I'm a go-getter and I go hard anyway. So I'm always going to try my best to turn lemons into lemonade and not just sit here and just feel salty. Like, you feel me? Well, I mean, obviously, like, it's a big change to go from being on stages and going to the club and all that to then turning around and being at the crib. It's definitely like it was a big mental shift, not just a physical shift. And then from there, like, definitely, like, I was going live with fans, especially early on in quarantine. But then it was, for me, just keeping it 100, it was getting kind of weird because I was getting a lot of people, because my fans are all over the world. So some of them don't know how to speak English. So it's just like, they were just, like, coming to my live and just be smiling at me. And I'm like, yo, like, I can't, like, y'all niggas got to know how to speak English or we can't do this. Like, what is y'all doing? So, <laughs> so I stopped going live as often. But just, like, movies uh listening to music um everyday life uh reflecting on past experiences um just trying to just stay chill and just wusa just it, it allows the creative juices to continue to flow and for me like i took a break from like recording and doing all that because I, like I said, I had to get my mind right. I had to be balanced. And once I was, when I did start to record more music and dabble with that, like, like it was just coming out of me. It was just coming like crazy. And I and I like anybody that creates, you know, when you get into that little flow right there, boy, you like, boy, I don't never want this to go away because it's just so easy. So that was more so my experience and. And like I said, I'm grateful for it because, I mean, I know a lot of people like they struggle with that, especially with the quarantine and not having that those creative outside experiences to bring to the table, whether it be for their music or whatever else they're doing. So uh, to have that energy come from within, like I'm I'm grateful for that.